Good morning. So for today, we're going to have a arithmetic sequence. We are about to have no the questions in our mind. No, after this class, you must have answers. No, how do I define an arithmetic sequence, and how do I use the formula to find the different terms of the sequence? Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number. The fixed number is called the common difference, which is denoted as D. To find the next terms in an arithmetic sequence, we use the formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. Or, the n term equals the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference. Let's have the first example. Is the sequence 10, 13, 16, 19, and so on an arithmetic sequence? To find the common difference, we are going to compare the two difference of three terms. We're going to use first term, 10, second term, 13, third term, 16. A sub 2 minus A sub 1 is equal to 13 minus 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. A sub 3 minus A sub 2, 16 minus 13 equals 3. The terms have common difference, which is 3. Therefore, the sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Let's have number 2. Is the sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on, an arithmetic sequence. To find the common difference, again, we're going to compare the difference among the three terms. So we're going to use a sub 1, 2, a sub 2, 6, a sub 3, 18. a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to 6 minus 2, which is 4. a sub 3 minus a sub 2 is equal to 18 minus 6, which is 12. The terms do not have a common difference. Therefore, the sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. Let's have number 3. Is the sequence 57, 49, 41 an arithmetic sequence? To find the common difference, we're going to use two difference, na? differences. So we're going to compare. Let's have the first one. A sub 2 minus A sub 1. So, 49 minus 57, which is negative 8. A sub 3 minus A sub 2, 49, 41 minus 49 is equal to negative 8. The terms have common difference. So, we're going to have common difference equals negative 8. Therefore, the sequence is said to be an arithmetic sequence. Again, if you have a sequence that is decreasing, the common difference, na, you're going to have a common difference that is a negative number. If and only if the sequence is increasing, therefore, the common difference is a positive number. Let's have the definition of an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant which is the common difference. The common difference is denoted as small letter D. This time, we're going to determine and to find the common difference. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on? For us to get the common difference, we need two terms. No? Two consecutive terms. So, we're going to use a sub 1 and a sub 2. a sub 1, or the first term is 1, your second term is 4. So, a sub 2 minus a sub 1 is equal to 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the terms have a common difference of 3. Let's have example number 2. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 15, 11, 7, 3, and so on? We're going to use a sub 1, 15, and a sub 2, 11. 
common difference is equal to second term minus the first term. So, 11 minus 15. 11 minus 15 is a negative 4. Therefore, the common difference is equal to negative 4. Let's have the third example. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 9, 16, 23, 30, 37, and so on? A sub 1 equals 9. A sub 2 equals 16. So common difference is equal to second term minus the first term. 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Common difference is equal to 7. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 18, 25, 32, 39, 46? A sub 1 equals 18. A sub 2 equals 25. For us to get the common difference, we're going to subtract A sub 2 minus A sub 1. So we're going to have 25 minus 18. 25 minus 18 is equal to 7. Therefore, our common difference is 7. Another example. What is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 9, 18, 27, 36, 45? To find the common difference, we're going to use a sub 2 and a sub 1. a sub 2 minus a sub 1. 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. Therefore, the common difference is 9. Let us use the number line for us to have a deeper, uh, deeper understanding of the common difference. In the sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, and so on, using the number line, we have in here 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 3 is 16, and so on. So the pattern is continued by adding 3 to the last number each time. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number. The fixed number is called the common difference, which is denoted as small letter d. To find the next terms in an arithmetic sequence, we're going to use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. a sub n is your last term. A sub 1 is your first term. N is the number of terms in the sequence. And D is your common difference. So let's have the parts of the arithmetic sequence formula. N term. First term. Term position. Common difference. N term is equal to the first term plus number of terms minus 1 times the common difference. Let's have the next example. Find the 40th term of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and so on. So, for the given, N is equal to 14. That is your number of terms a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 4 your common difference is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1 which is 7 minus 4 therefore your common difference is equal to 3 so we're going to use the formula n term is equal to the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference then after that we're going to substitute so, this will be a sub 14. No? Your first term is 4. And then, you're going to have the number of terms. That is 14 minus 1 times the common difference. That is 3. No? Then, 4 plus 14 minus 1 is 13. Times 3. 4 plus 13 times 3 is 39. 39 plus 4 is 43. Therefore, your final answer is 
the 14th term is 43. Let's have the next example. Find the 20th term, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So the given, no, n is equal to 20, a sub 1 is equal to 2, common difference is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1, which is 4 minus 2, which is 2. Then we're going to substitute with our formula, which is n term is equal to first term plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference. So this will be a sub 20 equals 2 plus 20 minus 1 times the common difference 2. Therefore, 20 minus 1 is 19 times 2, which will give you 38. 38 plus 2 is 40. So this is your a sub 20. So your final answer, the 20th term is 40. Let's have the next example. Okay, find the 12th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, your first term, first term is equal to 3. Your common difference is equal to 2. The number of terms is equal to 12. So, you just need to substitute. So, this will be a sub 12 is equal to 3 plus 12 minus 1 times 2. Na? 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 times 2. So, this will be 3 plus 22. 22 plus 3 is 25. Therefore, a sub 12 is 25.